On the island of Sodor, high up in the mountains was a mysterious boulder. It had stood alone for a long time, but one day workmen arrived to build a quarry on the land below. Rusty, the little diesel, met Thomas and Percy. Where's all this rock coming from, Percy asked. The new quarry, replied Rusty. This mountain rock is good for many things, although it's dangerous up there. Why, asked Thomas, because of a big boulder. I think it's watching me, said Rusty nervously. How can it be? Boulders don't have eyes. Well, Percy, there's something strange about this one. Just then, Edward arrived. He was delivering a new piece of machinery for the quarry. What's that? asked Rusty. It's called Thumper. Apparently, it helps collect the rock faster, replied Edward. Soon, Thumper was working hard. The men were pleased, but no one bothered to check the boulder. When it rained, the workmen went away. Rusty gazed up and shivered. Above stood Boulder. Suddenly, a large slab of rock landed on the rails. Rusty was shocked. Driver was concerned. We'd best leave till the weather's better. The rain loosened some of this rock. I think it's Boulder wanting us to go away. The next day, the sun shone. Thumper was working harder than ever. Suddenly, Rusty noticed something. Boulder's moving. Don't be so daft. It can't, said the driver. But it could. It's rolling along our line. We'll stop here until Boulder passes by, said the driver. But Boulder was nowhere to be seen. Then, oh no, it's behind us. Just ahead, they saw a small junction. One line went uphill. Boulder thundered past. Meanwhile, Scarloe was making his way up to the quarry. Then he saw Boulder. Boulder was catching up fast. We must warn the yards, shouted Scarloe. Yes, but how, called Rusty. Boulder rounded a bend, and there ahead was Reneus. It's running loose, yelled Reneus. His driver drove him back as fast as he could. Hurry! Better a smash than a squash, sighed his driver. At the yards, Percy was collecting trucks. Then he heard Boulder. Oh no, heading straight for me, squeaked Percy. When Sir Topham Hatt inspected the damage, he decided to close the mine. Then he looked at Boulder. We should have left this part of the island alone. They moved Boulder to a hill close by the yards. Rusty is sure that on a clear night, it is gazing up at the mountain and that its sighs are being carried on the wind to where it once used to stand proud and silent. I wonder if Rusty is right, don't you?